Today is the autumn equinox. At around 7.50 this morning, the sun was directly over the equator. The sun is now going to start to set at the North Pole and rise at the South. The closest point on Earth's surface to the sun is now in the Southern Hemisphere, which means that the Northern Hemisphere winter can start to get going. The next time the Sun will pass the equator on its journey back up to the Northern Hemisphere will be on the 20th of March on a day known as the Vernal Equinox. And from now until then, our days are going to be shorter than our nights. And in fact, today on the equinox, uh, our day and night are about the same length, about 12 hours. And that is pretty much the same for everywhere on the planet because the Sun is hitting us directly from the side. Of course, what's really happening is the sun's pretty much staying still and we're moving around the sun and it just so happens that the angle of the Earth's axis is pretty much exactly perpendicular to the angle that the sunlight is hitting the planet. And that's why day length is about 12 hours everywhere on the planet today. Well, I was going to do some solar photography, but it's starting to cloud over. Look at that. <laughs> Proper kind of dark clouds now. Well, you can just about see the sunspots in that one. So, now that the days are getting darker, and the Northern Hemisphere is going to be able to start cooling down. We can head towards winter, onto the next, the next step. I suppose this weather, grey clouds, is um, quite characteristic of autumn, really. It's a lovely view from up here and actually one thing I've spotted just over there you can see the burst water main at the airport <laughs> sending a massive fountain into the air. <laughs> 